What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and whenever you guys see me in the car, you know it's because I'm taking you somewhere. And in today's video, we're going to be vlogging none other than the Photon Hypernova sneak peek event or the premiere event, I think is now what they call it. And this event is going to be insane because it's introducing the brand new Koshtera archetype or I guess it's technically already been introduced, but all the good support comes out now and this deck is absolutely insane now. So I'm really excited. Hopefully we can pull good. The goal is, all right, if you guys like this video and you guys subscribe to the channel, then we're gonna pull a Starlight Arise Heart. And if I do that, I'm gonna use that Starlight Arise Heart to trade it for the rest of the Koshtera core and not Starlight because I don't need it to be Starlight. But that's the goal for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys enjoy these vlogs. I gotta get to locals though because we're cutting it really close. I think uh, the premiere event starts in like 25 minutes. I'm about 15 minutes away, so we gotta get there fast and I'll see you when we get there. All right, I'm not gonna lie, there wasn't much traffic and I think I'm here before a lot of other people. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys a quick, not that many people here today. Usually Sneaks is like super full, but I didn't get to tell you guys this earlier and I just came to the corner by myself to tell you guys we're playing Dino today. I've pretty much solidified myself as the, the Dino boy for YouTube. So that's what we're going to be playing today and we're going to go first place because the first place means a full box. Actually, I'm just hoping to do as well as possible. I know there's going to be a lot of tailor players, so I am prepared for that and uh, I just got to hope there's no day one Kosh players. I just got to hope like really that no one picked it up early and has the deck because my deck is not prepared for Kosh at all. I haven't really updated for Kosh I'm just hoping that no one's playing it. Let's do some trading since we're here a little bit early. I'm going to set up the uh, camera so we can do some dual videos as well. And we'll see where it goes from here. All right, I'm going to give you guys a quick sneak peek at the deck profile. I'm not going to do a whole profile, but I'll show you guys. Obviously, you guys kind of know what we're playing. So what I decided to do here was I'm playing the Bestials. I decided to main two Nibirus rather than two of the Sarniers. Because I feel like, and I've actually seen a couple of people with the Koshira stuff. So I actually think the Koshira is going to be coming around. I need to be prepared for it. So I decided to main deck two nibs, playing the Imperms, and then just typical Dino go second stuff. But the thing that I'm probably going to do once we open our packs is in the side deck, I'm siding the third nib and then two Sarniers. If we pull the Baldrakes, I'm going to swap these out for Baldrakes because Baldrakes are just better than these. So if we pull the Baldrakes, hopefully we get these in. And then, you know, typical side deck, typical extra deck over here. And yeah, I'm excited for today. It's, it's going to be busy though. There's uh, about 30-ish, maybe 35 people here now. And uh, it's probably going to get even busier. So hopefully we pull good. Hopefully we do good. I'm excited to play today. All right, we have our kit. Oh, we got two of these today. Okay, six packs over here. Let's see what we crack. I need a, I need a, I don't even know what I want, man. We're just going to Starlight right here. Gold Pride. Oh, actually, I actually want to check my comments because I want Baldrick, so I probably shouldn't check actual comments. There's also that one really good spell, uh, yeah, the spell card, it's a super rare. I think it steals stuff from the graveyard, so. Oh, we pulled an Ultra. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, this is not bad either. Okay, we'll take those, we'll take those. It's a hit, it's something at least. Let's see what's next here. Fordian. All right, can we get a Baldrick, please? Can I get a Baldrick? All right, next pack over here. Yo, bro, right here. Yo. Oh, 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 Ultimate Green Ninja. Did I say Ninja? Let's go. Nothing. Scarecrow, Kashtar. Oh, okay, Ball Drake. You want it? Yeah, Alright, nice. This was actually really good. I'm happy, I'm happy with the Ball Drake because I want to play that today. So, uh, let's see if we can pull one more Ball Drake at least. If not, maybe trade for one and then try to get that in my deck because it is legal for today. So, Alright, so no Secret Rare and no Ball Drake. That wasn't horrible, I guess. Pulled an Ultra, pulled the Ball Drake this as well it's not a horrible sneak not the best sneak but it's not a horrible one did you pull a baldry no you didn't pull a single baldry oh shoot i need one more oh i did have one i'll oh, give me that guys we got our second ball drake all right so you guys saw we didn't pull that well and that's because today i didn't pick your path he didn't pick he didn't pick my path it was on luca jordan's usually the one that gives me the kits it's okay next time come tomorrow yeah i didn't pull that well but we got to trade it which is not bad at least yeah you're the one who failed them what what'd i do Normally when I give him kids, he's blessed. He screwed him over today, man. He deserved it. He had too many cards. Anyway, so uh, yeah, we only pulled the Ultra. Luckily, I got to trade it in for some store credit. I got $15 for it. Not horrible. Pre-release price, I don't think it's going to hold at $15. Getting it rid of it early is not a bad thing. So I'm excited because I think we still have, I think, eight or six minutes of barreling right now to finish building our decks. I didn't have to make too many changes. You guys saw that I put the ball drakes in the deck. And as soon as the ball drakes are in, we're pretty much ready to go. So I'm chilling now for the next five, six minutes. I know it's kind of loud in here, but it's 
busy. It's nice. I got to see a lot of faces that you don't see every single day. We're gonna play Dino, like I said earlier, and I'm just really excited because I get to actually play against the metagame and show you guys and show off how powerful this deck really can be. Hopefully, I didn't just jinx it. Hopefully, we pull well. The prizing is gonna be really good, so we'll see where it goes from here. But I'm really excited, and hopefully, I get some dual footage for you guys as well. I really liked in the last vlog the fact that I got dual footage with the actual duels, not just me talking to you guys. So I'm gonna try to do that again today. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe because Lord knows I need my money back, bro. Sneak peek is not cheap anymore. It's like 38 bucks after tax, so it's expensive. So here we're in our round one. We're gonna be playing against Sprite, and funny enough, our opponent is Rayhan, who is a good friend of ours, but he also top 16 at the NA Nationals and has a lot under his belt. Now you guys can see the camera angle change, and that's because Magic players don't know how to not hit tripods, and they walk just right into it. But here his board is just way too much. I can't really honestly break it. He has the red as well as the toad, which is just too much. So of course in our game two, we're gonna let him go first again. It doesn't really matter. This deck can break a lot of different boards. That last board, our hand just wasn't too great. In this board, you guys are gonna see, he sets up the exact same board, the Toad plus the Red, but we have the Imperm for the Toad, and that pretty much just wins us the game, because here we're able to break his board, we have the Fenrir, we have the OV, and we're gonna be able to full combo with OV and Misk here, so it's just way too much damage. We end up being able to push for game here, which is great. And then into our game three, we're actually gonna go and let him go first, but he actually just passes. So here he goes shifter. So because he goes shifter, I actually don't activate too many effects. We're just gonna go OV plus our Fenrir and we're just gonna let him sit and wait till our next turn where we're able to combo and now we just are able to go for game and he scoops. I got top 16 NA Nationals, YCS champion, Rayhan Saeed looking through bulk. So... Dino best deck, baby. All right, so I migrated here to the back because it's really loud over there. It's really busy. I think you guys can probably see how busy it really is so uh yeah i migrated here so that the audio might be a little bit better for you guys to hear but our round one we ended up playing against rayhan who's a great player amazing player i mean under his belt the guy has a top 16 na nationals he has a ycs championship he has a ton of regional top so this guy is a great player one of na's best and uh yeah we got to take round one against him we we're playing against sprite and it's really nice the fact that we're in the winner's bracket now and we had to play one of the better players at the locals or at the event because this way i feel like you know we get the better players out of the way early and then it becomes a little bit easier later not to take away from anyone but you know dino's still best deck i'm really excited and uh, we took our round one it's gonna be five rounds today hopefully we can uh actually end up winning and at least topping even if we don't win the event actually nah no loser talk here we're winning Dino best deck baby we're winning this event so in round two we're up against sword soul and we only catch game one over here game two went pretty quickly so i just want to show you guys game one because it was kind of a grind game we both kind of bricked. I end up imperming the Baron. This was definitely a mistake because I wasn't playing around the Forbidden Droplet. If he didn't have the Droplet, I would have had full combo, but you know, didn't have it. So we're playing back and forth here. He goes Boxia. I'm just playing with the Bestials in my hand. Pankratob's doing some damage. It's literally just a back and forth game. And it's something that took a lot of time, honestly. But this is where the plays get really good. I top deck into Fossil Dig. And getting into Fossil Dig means now I now have a starter. I can now start going off. And you guys are going to see I'm going to be able to combo here. Summon our Tyranno. I go for the Druus Worm and he chains the Baldrake. But I have the TTT to take his Magnemoot. And he's only at 38.50 at this point. So that's just enough for game. We're currently 2-0 right now. We just finished our second round. We played against Sword Soul. Uh, game 1 uh, was pretty good for us. It was back and forth. You guys probably saw. Game 2, I opened Nibiru plus Abyssal. So you can imagine how that went. And uh, yeah. So we're 2-0 right now. But I found out that it's not going to be 5 rounds today. It's going to be 6 rounds. Which means it's going to be much longer of a day than I expected it to be. But I'm still excited because I think the deck's doing really well. I'm gonna be honest with you though. I might just leave. I hate to say it. I don't I didn't expect it to be six rounds today I was expecting it like right now. It's about 3 30 I was expecting to be home by like 5 5 30 without well, you know with the how locals is and stuff Because uh, it was supposed to start at 1 and it ended up starting around like 2 to be honest So uh, I don't know if we're gonna finish out the day. I know it's kind of disappointing I mean, we'll see. We'll see how fast these other rounds go. We'll see where we go from here if I go and I'm gonna be honest if I go 4-0 I might just stay because I want to go undefeated. I want to show people how powerful this deck is. But at the same time, I don't know if I can spend all day here. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated. But 2-0, baby. 
So it's round three over here, and we're going up against our friend Rishab, who's finally playing Tailaments. By the way, shout out the Magic players who still can't stop hitting the tripod. But anyways, he opens crazy, he mills crazy, he sets up a nasty board. Honestly, this is just a crazy board, and it doesn't matter what we mill because it's just fuel for Pill and Tyranno in our hand at the end of the day. And you guys are gonna see as he combos here. He's doing this typical Tailaments stuff, but there's one thing specifically that I can't out, and I think he realizes it midway through the combo, and that's a Baguska. So he makes Baguska that's unaffected or untargeted. Targetable, I should say because of elf and that was the main issue my hand here wasn't horrible at all I did have fodder in the graveyard for something like a tyranno that was in my hand I think I had a pill in my hand as well but it just nothing mattered. I kept trying to somehow get the Baguska off the field before I decided to commit to my plays. And the Baguska was just stuck. It was just stuck on the board. So I couldn't really do anything about it. I was hoping to prosperity here into an imperm to see if I could break it. Because I had the OV. I had the combo in my hand. And yeah, I couldn't break it. So we lose game one. Game two here, we open our full combo. We open pretty cracked, to be honest with you. So you guys are going to see we're going to end on the typical Tyranno plus a Savage Dragon plus an Apollo. And we have a TTT on our hand, which because he activated the Hobbinus is now live. And we use the TTT to take a card out of his hand. And I see his hand is just uh, two of the Ishizu monsters. He draws into a Twin Twister. So it didn't really matter here. I had game two. This was pretty nice. So after this, we're going into game three now. And game three is kind of like a back and forth. He's still able to set up a board. But the thing is that I'm scared of is he has two level fours on the field, which means that he's going to go into the Baguska. And him going into the Baguska now means that we're kind of stuck. And I have to hope to draw into an Imperm or something like that, because that's the only way to really beat the Baguska here. At this point, we're cutting it really close into time. So he sets up his board here, and I'm trying to break the board. I'm going to use the Raigeki. I'm trying to bait out in the gate because I know he has a crime. He crimes the Raigeki, and at this point, we go into time. I just end up giving him the win because I'm not staying anyway. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna step out of the store for a moment here. I don't know if you guys saw in that last round, but essentially we we're going back and forth. We went into time and we actually tied. So I should be two zero one. But I was going up against my friend Rashab, and I was like, you know what? It's six rounds today. So because it's six rounds, there's no way I'm staying for the six rounds. I'm going to be honest with you. I just have too many things that I got to get done today. And it's already 4.30 p.m. So by the time six rounds are going to be done, probably going to be like 7 p.m. ish. It's going to be way, way too late. So I, I got to get out of here, to be honest with you. So I told Rashad, I was like, yo, listen, Rashad, you can take the win. It is what it is. I'm probably not going to play the rest of the day. It was a good three rounds. We went 2-0-1. I'm very confident that I could have gone like 5-0-1 the rest of the day. Like I definitely know I could have done well. It's just such a long day that I just don't know if I can commit to it i know it kind of sucks i don't want to end the vlog off here though because i'm not leaving just yet i'm actually going to be going back in there and trying to get some trades you know i love trading i love getting new cards getting my hands on new stuff that just came out especially with photon hypernova so i'm going to be doing some trading i'm going to see if i can get some new stuff and then maybe at the end of the vlog i can show you guys what we can pick up let's see where it goes from here but again the deck is just really really powerful i just can't really afford to stay here forever right so it is what it is soon after let me just say something real quick i'm in my car i was about to head out from untouch right but just before i head out they make an announcement all right so i can't stay here for six rounds i'm gonna be honest i have to get home i gotta get stuff done whatever whatever so i gave my opponent the win it's all good and then i did some trading i'll show you guys when i get home what we picked up picked up some nice stuff though i'm gonna be honest with you i picked up some nice stuff but yeah we picked up some really cool stuff as i'm headed out the door they hit me with the Oh, by the way, it's actually not going to be six rounds today. It's going to be five. And I was, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't get really angry or really tilted or pissed off really that easily, to be honest with you. Especially with like Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff. Like, you know, it's a game. I have fun, you know. And we were doing well today, so I was in a good mood. Everything was good. I'm going to be honest with you. I was genuinely annoyed. Because, you know, I'm XO at this point. And as we're XO, or XO1, let's see. Okay, we're XO1. And I give my round four opponent the win, even though... I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I should have been. I'm pissed. Anyways, I give my round four opponent the win, and then you know I can do some trading. I headed out. By the way not six rounds so i could have played that last round won it out and i'm very confident in myself and you know what even if we lost obviously there's a chance we lose so i don't want to sit here and be like oh i would have guaranteed myself a top but i'm not gonna say that there's a chance we lose right but i'm very confident in myself as a player i'm very confident in my deck as well and so i was like sitting there and i'm like bro i just got i don't want to say i got cheated out of something because you know technically i you know it's not like i was the XO and it was the last round or whatever like that. It wasn't like that, but yeah, it almost feels like you got cheated because I gave my opponent the win because, you know, I thought it was going to be six rounds and then it turned out to be not six rounds. So yeah, I'm going to be honest. That's kind of heartbreaking. That is kind of annoying because I definitely could have squeezed in the fifth round. It was just the sixth round that was uh, kind of annoying. But uh, yeah, 
I don't know what to say. Let's just head home. I'm gonna be honest, man. Like, I felt better about it, but then now me talking about it again kind of re-triggered me. Yeah, we'll go home. I'll show you guys what we picked up. It was still a good day seeing the guys. Uh, it, was, it was still really nice, but... Uh yeah, that's very triggering still. Anyways, I'll show you guys what we pick up when we get home. All right, so you guys can see here this little stack of stuff that we picked up. My favorite pickup hands down for the day is this playset of Ultimate Rare Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. This is honestly my second playset. I already had a playset, but again, one of my favorite cards and I'm really happy to get another playset. A playset of ulti hand traps I will never get tired of, so I like that. Another ulti we picked up was the Dogmatica Ecclesia. This card is absolutely stunning. I know technically the Starlight is the higher rarity, but I really like the Ultimate Rare. It's my favorite rarity of any card ever. So obviously I'm really happy with these Ultimate Rares. And then I picked up some cards that I can throw into decks when I do the deck profiles for you guys. Rather than having to swap them out between decks, I can just put these cards in. So draw and lock commons. We have the Lord of the Heavenly Prisons as well. These cards are really nice that I can put into deck profiles for you guys. Exiton Knight and Terraforming. Honestly, these two are probably going to go back into a trade binder. I just picked these up because people wanted some cards. And I was like, you know what? Don't worry. I can pick up cards to put into my trade binder in the future. So I picked these up. The one Solemn Judgment is super rare. I really like this rarity. And honestly, you can never really have enough Solemn Judgment. So I like having this extra Solemn Judgment. And then one of the boys actually we were trading and i saw these speed duel cards and i can't find them very often they're not very expensive per se but uh i saw them and i'm like i really want these and he was like you know let me trade you for him i know you like these kind of gx era stuff so he took a gigantic sprite that i had in my trade binder and yeah he just gave me all of these the dograns are really really nice here so yeah these are my trades for the day i can always be appreciative of ultimate rares i really like these cards all right guys so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy i'm gonna be honest with you i'm still a little bit upset about what had happened and what transpired because I feel like we could have gone further with the deck. If I had known it was five rounds, I would have played the fifth round and I, yeah, who knows where we could have gone. But we did get some cool trades at least and that's really nice. I always like picking up ultimate rares, my favorite rarity. So I at least got to enjoy some trades and got to get some cool stuff. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. Guys, I know today's vlog was a little bit different, but at least you guys got to see a little bit of the duels, how the deck plays and how powerful this deck really can be. But at the end of the day, you know, things happen. It is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys all for watching. With that, Spanko signing out. Peace.